The Euros is one of the most prestigious tournaments in football history. And today, I'm going to attempt to recreate one iconic goal from every Euros going all the way back to the year it started in 1960. Kicking it off, literally, with Milan Gaelic, who scored this absolute worldie against France. So let's try and recreate it. And as Yugoslavia aren't on the game, we'll be using Serbia, which is where Milan Gaelic technically was born. Oh, there he is. We have Gaelic in the game. Oh, he's got the ball. Shoot. Oh, okay. I think it's about here where he shoots. And it needs to go top right. Here he is. The only problem, he's not bloody topless, is he? Yeah, I'm not sure if you noticed, but Yugoslavia actually played topless in this match as their kits clashed with their opponents. You never know if Gaelic was topless here. He might have scored. But we would get closer. Oh, my God. And closer. No, not again. Until eventually, Gaelic did this. Boom. Let's go! Come on! That was so powerful! Now that first goal was easy, but as we progress through these Euros, the goals get super hard. And to make it even harder, I'm only going to have five attempts to complete each one. Every failed iconic recreation, I will give away a football kit of the team I failed to recreate. And there's a lot of good teams and good goals coming up, so I might be giving away a lot of football kits here. Moving on to 1964, we have this goal from Marcelino Martinez which actually won the Euros for Spain against the USSR. So it's pretty iconic. I mean, just look how happy he is. And yes, there's no Russia on the game, so it's going to have to be one of the country's closest, which is Ukraine. Spins him, runs down the line, crosses it in. And our first attempt was definitely not a header. So we tried again. But this time, it also wasn't a header. No! Why, Martinez? Why couldn't you just do the diving header? Oh, you spun him. Run down the line. Boom. Oh, that's a terrible cross. Spins him. Runs down the line. Crosses it in. Martinez is nowhere to be seen. We would have one last chance to get the header. Martinez. Do the header. No. And just like that, we had failed our first Euros recreation. And I now have to give away a Spain kit. That's one kit so far. We've got a lot more goals to go. And it's pretty easy to enter. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed. Comment down below your favorite goal of this video. And follow me on my Instagram as I'll announce the winners on there too. Although we may have failed that goal, hopefully we can score the next, which is 1968 with Pietro Anastasi. Now that is a beautiful goal. And on our first try, Pietro did this. Fully! Oh, it's a goal! But even though it was a good goal, it wasn't the same, so we kept trying. Our second try was more promising, but still not good enough. Oh, that's so much better, but we can't get the clean volley. And then this happened. Let's go! Let's go! That's it! We have definitely done it that time. The pass is at the right angle. Flicks it up. Volleys it. It's bottom bin this time. We've done it. And he picks up the ball. He drives. He drives. He plays the one, two. Dings it over. Oh, that's attempt number one. He's driving. Bottom bin. That's good. That's good. But the situation was not the same. Our third try was almost perfect until the end. What was that ball? Oh, my God. But finally, we got the final pass right, and this happened. Yes! Let's go. Please tell me that was similar. Although Gerd took an extra touch, it was still a pretty good recreation. I think that was good enough for that reason. We're moving on to 1976. And this Penenka penalty won check their first Euros. Let's go recreate it. Antonin Penenka to win the Euros for Czech against Germany. Can he do it on his first attempt? Surely. Yes, he can. Let's go. That was the easiest goal yet. But the next goals get so much harder. Like this goal by Ray Wilkins in 1980. This goal was simply outrageous. The double flick and the chip it's gonna be hard to recreate and straight away it was clear this goal would be super difficult not only do i need to chip it over the defender but the goalkeeper too but our second attempt would actually show some promise please oh my god that's good that actually is good oh that's a really good scoop and it's a great chip oh my god i don't know although our second try was great i still had three more attempts to make it but I simply couldn't. So we're taking the second attempt and moving on to 1984. 
where one icon stood out. And that was this man, Platini, who scored this beautiful free kick, helping France win the Euros. And by the way, this was his ninth goal, which is the record number of goals in any European competition. Until Ronaldo beat it with 14 goals. All right, Platini, this is exactly where you scored it. Can you score it again? We're going to go a bit light. Boom. Maybe we can get it over the wall with our next try. Boom. Oh my god, it's too close. How am I going to do this? They say good things come in threes, so hopefully... We can get this one over the wall and in the back of the net. How about that, Platini? What the? What the? What? Why did Kunde just came out of nowhere? With two attempts remaining, it was getting tense. Platini, this is your final attempt. If not, I have to give away this France kit. It was now or never. Oh, this is good. No! Oh, we failed. The good news is one of you guys get this beautiful France kit. The bad news is I'm going to be broke. So if you could please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Especially as we're trying to overtake Kareem the Dream Benzema. We're so close. So help me overtake him. And with a lot of goals left to go, I was very nervous for how many kits I'll be giving away. Especially as this next goal is the iconic Van Basten volley of 1988. Just look at it. It is a thing of beauty. I don't even know how he scored that. Impossible angle. And our first try sucked. Boom. Ah, uh, okay. He's there. Volley. Volley. Let's go. No, that's not it. I can't say that. I just, I got excited because I scored a volley. But on our third try, this happened. But it wasn't a volley. Could we perfect it for our next try? Volley it. And with one last attempt, Van Basten did this. No! That was it. That was actually it. Oh, I can't believe I failed back-to-back -back challenges. That means I've now got a giveaway a Netherlands kit as well. That means there's now a France kit, Spain kit, and a Netherlands kit up for grabs. With three fails already, hopefully we can complete the next goal, which was 1992. And 1992, we had a goal which actually sent England home. It's Thomas Brolin with a beautiful one-two top bins. It's a great goal. And speaking of great goals, on our first attempt, Brolin would do this. Boom! That's a great first attempt and a great first try it was as we're definitely taking that and moving on to 1996 and 96 brought us one of the most iconic english goals is gascoigne with this piece of disgracefulness it's a beauty and therefore we're gonna try and recreate it and we would come close ish on our first try oh I, it's not a bad first attempt but our second try was much better bottom bins oh let's go we scored it we got the volley and we got the flick. I still wasn't satisfied. It needed to be better, which our third attempt definitely was not. But then Gascoigne did this. No! Oh my god, that one was so much better. Why did it go top bins? If that just went bottom bins, I would happily take that. So with one last attempt, we did this. Oh my god. That's very good. And with a few great attempts, I'm taking one of them and we're moving on to 2000. And what a goal. I feel like I'm in the wrong kit for this one. That's more like it. And now we were in the right kit. It was time to smash this goal, which was instantly denied on our first try. But I would get absolutely obliterated on my second attempt. Oh my God. He gets it at the halfway line. He drives. Run at the defenders. Run at them. Shoot. Oh my god! Figo gets the ball. Halfway line. He drives. He... Oh, he's megged him! No way. He shoots from here! No! If that just goes top bins, that's the goal! Figo gets it from the halfway line. He drives. He drives. He drives. He shoots! He scores! What a goal! <laughs> the fifth attempt! Oh my god! If you don't rate that, you're a hater. We're moving on to 2004. We have this incredible goal by Maniche against the Netherlands. A finesse, 
of dreams, some may say. We've got the corner. We just need the Maniche. Where is he? I think I may have the Maniche. The ball gets played to him. Takes a touch. Finesses. No way, we just done it on our first attempt. Oh my god. The pass to Maniche, the touch, the shot, the goal. It's amazing. I honestly couldn't believe what we had just done on our first try. On to 2008 we go. And moving on to 2008 was an insane game between Netherlands and France where Wesley Schneider scored this absolutely incredible goal. Wesley's about here. Turns, turns the defender. Finesse is top left. Oh! my god it's not the right goal because he's hit that with his weak foot but wow what a first attempt but on our second attempt wesley did this yes that might be the one i don't know if the angle's right but the angle simply wasn't the same so i couldn't count it our third attempt the angle was better but it was a poor finish and then we almost scored the perfect recreation oh <laughs> that's better we just needed the AI to try and intercept us. So I gave it one last go, and we scored this. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. Even though we didn't turn the AI the same, the goal was incredible. So for that reason, we're moving on to 2012. 20 right away we scored this, but it wasn't Zlatan. Zlatan! Oh no! That's so good! However, it wasn't the scissor kick Zlatan did, so we can't count it. But we would get closer and closer with one final attempt. Zlatan did this. Zlatan! Zlatan! That might be it! That might be it! I'm gonna let you guys decide if this goal is good enough on my instagram i've put a poll where you can go and vote and you guys can get involved and choose if it's good enough or not follow me on my instagram get involved and with that said let's move on to 2016 and that my friends is this goal from shakiri which was rated as the best goal of the whole tournament and it is an absolute stunner let's try to recreate it it's fair to say our first attempt sucked shakiri same with our second try we finally got good bicycle kick on the third, but no goal. Sh no! Why didn't he bicey it? With one last try, Shakiri scored this. Shakiri! <laughs> we scored a bicey with him. He is 74 rated. If I have to take the L on that, so be it. I'll take the L. We're moving on to 2020. Or some might say 2021 because of COVID. Which, funny enough, I have right now. Somehow, I've got COVID again, guys. One subscribe is one L for COVID. Anyways, moving on to 2020, we have one of the greatest goals in the history of the tournament. This goal from Patrick Schick. Probably the best goal of the tournament. And, yeah. It might be impossible to recreate. But I'm going to give it my best shot. Shick, he's there. The finesse shot. Oh, we've actually, no, that's not Shick. No, I scored it with the wrong guy. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. So we corrected our mistakes and found Shick who did this. Oh, that was better. We got good height on it as well. And it's Patrick Shick. Let's go. And that leaves us with one more Euros, the Euro 2024, in which we need to decide the best goal. First up is Laminia Mal. It's absolutely ridiculous considering this guy is 16 years old. But there's one goal in contention with this. It's Jude Bellingham's bicycle kick to save it for England in the last seconds. And for that reason, I think it's more iconic. So let's try and recreate it. And our first try was almost perfection. Dude, oh, he's blocked it with his face. Whereas our second attempt, although we scored it, it wasn't as good. Dude, belling goal, that's not the same. But we would come closest on our third try. Dude, no, that was perfect. That was perfect. The cross, the position, everything was perfect. Just he's done it the wrong way. So we corrected our mistakes and Jude did this. Dude, Jude, that's it. That's the one.
what a goal to end the video on, but we need to find out the results of the Sweden goal. If you guys have decided it's good enough, I don't have to give away another kit. It was now the moment of truth. Yes! 80% of you guys said it was good enough. Therefore, I don't have to give away a Sweden kit. However, you guys still have the opportunity to win three kits. So comment down below your favorite goal from this video. And if you enjoyed this video, then of course, go and watch this one right here. I can guarantee you enjoy this video.